Uh, people want you to explain, and I've seen a lot of people try to explain this because I'm confused by it. What is the difference between a leftist and a liberal? I mean, these distinctions are silly. But That's like, what I think. Okay, thank no, you. Moving but, on. But for overall, like a liberal is, I mean, there's a fundamental difference between liberals and leftists, I guess. Am uh, I lib? It's arbitrary. It's arbitrary. So uh, it, it's, you know, it's made up concept. But if you were to put boundaries on it, it would be like being anti-capitalist versus being pro-capitalist. But I also consider social democrats who are capitalist to, uh, at the very least in the Western world, be a part of uh, the entry point into leftist politics. So, so wait, what's the, why can't I be a lib and be cool? Liberals, liberalism, liberalism yeah. is a political ideology, literally revolves around the defense of private property, property that was created through enclosures, property that needs to be defended with the threat of violence from the state and leftists don't really care about private property you can have personal property you can have a home obviously no one's like saying you shouldn't be able to have your own home or your own toothbrush or anything like that or your car but the defense of private property property that you purchase capital you're not that accumulates you're not on its own you're not in favor of private property i think that society would be better off if people had personal property like a home a nice hey, home, a mansion a castle if you want to fucking live in one what's who the cares difference? oh uh capital accumulation so the difference between private and personal property is like this. A home that you live inside of that, you know, you bought for your family or whatever mm -hmm. is personal property. Mm -hmm. A home that you purchase specifically with the interest of like le renting it out to other people mm -hmm. so that it just it's like investments that uh, will accumulate uh, value for you without you even touching it. Really, that's private property. So who would build who builds like office spaces? I I don't consider that to be uh, as problematic. You're just talking estate. about family homes. Yeah. Okay, I mean, I, I agree I'm with that. You I like don't... The, I'm giving you the basics. Like, obviously, it's not, this is not black and white. Okay, so leftists hate people with two houses and libs like people with two houses. No, that's not true either. I think, like, that's like saying technically... Uh, capital ownership means like any kind of uh, any kind of stock purchase, right? If you have stocks, if you're if you have any kind of stocks, you're technically owning capital. You're you have a very tiny fracture of ownership in a corporation that you will never see, that is like far away from you, that you don't even know you have ownership over uh, half the time. Mm -hmm. But obviously, I'm not against 401ks. That would be insane. I tell people all the time, you know, you have to have a nest egg, like because socialism or leftism doesn't mean you fucking die when you are. No no longer a productive uh, laborer. So I'll tell you, I agree with that because if there was no stock market, I'd be a lot richer right now. What do you, oh, because you lost a lot. Yeah, like I, I'm totally in favor of getting rid of the stock market, bro. I mean, I, I think that um, a system that's reliant on a debtor's economy, a system that's reliant on the stock market, uh, yields these inevitable uh, outcomes that we look at and see uh, as as bad, immoral, wrong. Uh, companies, uh, a great example I always use is when a company uh, eliminates redundancies, mm -hmm. right? They're just firing like half the fucking workforce. Yeah. But the stock price is good. The stock price improves usually when a company does uh, a, an elimination of redundancies mm -hmm. because it's now more efficient. Mm -hmm. But that does not reflect well on the people that were one fired and the people that remain at the company who now have to do the workload of two people. Mm -hmm. because they're fearful that they might get fired as well. So that is at the, like, things like that are at the heart of an economy that centers itself around uh, capital accumulation. Like, every part of the inequality that you see. What is, what's an ethical way for you, as someone who makes a lot of money, to use your surplus money? I just use it on myself, and I give a lot to charities and shit. Right, but surely you have a lot left over. I do, yeah. So what's an ethical thing to do? Just keeping Literally, it for yourself is fine? Nothing. Like, I don't really, I don't really spend much uh, other than just, like, well, I'm not asking you what shit. you do with it. I'm just, like, theoretically. Theoretically, what you, could you do? I mean, I, I basically, I basically do what I, what I've been doing, but at a larger scale now, you know what I mean? Try to support union funds do fundraisers and reinvest it into my own business, I guess, technically. Mm. But even then, it's like, I just, I just go off vibes. <laughs> I, vibes. I okay, so lefties prefer vibes over all things. Not, not, this, is, this is just my own personal perspective on the matter. Well, I like vibes. 
to vibe right now. No, I'm a, I am a capitalist, of, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I know. But you're, we all are. I would, dude. I would say we that you're. Are. I would say that you are uh, more in line with social democracy than anything else. Like you, a hundred percent. You are very much. You're very much like a like, <clears throat> like if America was like Norway, it would be infinitely better. If they, we had like robust social safety nets. If education was uh, was was equal as equal as possible, public education was funded adequately, mm -hmm. um, and everybody had you know social security, better labor protections, better labor unions, people weren't getting fucked over, free health care. That's that my perfect thing. society. And and it, the the nationalization of the extraction <coughs> industries, especially like in Norway, is pretty pretty helpful for the economy overall. That's a lot of people. That's mm -hmm. a lot of people's starting position, and I and I love that. I think that's your infinitely to the left of you know 98 percent of america when you fucking advocate for that so okay you're right. definitely so a, the most radical guy? socialist by democratic party standards okay good when you advocate for things like that great i mean i did just donate ten thousand and one dollars to well that Here. donations are not socialism that makes me a lefty and also a very generous person the one thing i will say though is that Norway and capitalist social democracies still do have issues. I'm a believer as a, as a revisionist uh, that you can, through slow reforms, at least try to improve uh, the, the living conditions of workers all around the world. And one fundamental problem with social democracies in Europe is that they are still heavily relying on, you know, the protection of the imperial state, the United States of America, they're heavily reliant on the extraction of natural resources from the third world, just like we all are. That is definitely still a part of global capitalism thriving. Mm. Uh, you know, the, the conflict minerals, everything else that you, you steal from Africa and, and the rest of the global south. Uh, these are things that we don't even think about, but are very much rooted within our, our um, you know, capitalist existence and the mode of production. <sighs> okay.